What is up guys and welcome to the vlog. We are here in Luton Airport waiting for the plane that's already 45 minutes delayed. We love that. We are just heading to Milan now for the San Giovese Prorum. It's like the 10th one, I think, 2013, the 9th version of it now. So it's been around for a while, safe to say. There's a really, really strong field in both the men's and the women's, so it should be a really, really cool event and another head-to-head. -head. And we do love a good head-to-head. -head. So we are going to be landing tonight at like 10 o'clock, getting a hotel room in Milan, doing some touristing, which is very unlike us, and then um, catching a ride down to San Giovese for the athletes dinner so we will catch you later on currently have bags going off the plane while we're boarding the plane we're running why are we running? We don't know why we're running. I don't know, but everyone else is everyone running, is so running, we're joining. So we're running. It is half past midnight, we've got delayed by two hours, and we're running through an airport. And this wasn't I don't know what happened, but we ran because it looked like it was going to be busy, and then the whole place is empty. Hey, but we were the first to go through passport control. We were the first. We were the winners of the run. <laughs> Shuttle problem. Hello, we're at door number five. Right, it's midnight, flight was like two hours delayed. Some random taxis picking us up, apparently to take us to an airport that I booked on bookings.com. Hopefully a hotel in London airport. Hopefully, I don't really know, I'm a bit tired. Let's hope we don't get kidnapped and let's hope the hotel's pleasant. <laughs> oh Jamie, it smells. Why does it smell? But we're here for the night, then we're gonna go touristing tomorrow, and then we go ski. Doing, Jamie? Touristing. Woohoo! Look at us touristing in Milan in some very, very old, very large cathedral. What do you think of all the culture? Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Look at all that scaffolding. Oh my god. Welcome to day one of the ninth edition of the San Gervasio Prom, an absolutely beautiful site about an hour south of Milan with a fully fledged aqua park just behind the lake, which is pretty awesome. There you see the clubhouse at the end of the lake and host to a full amateur tournament as well. So it was a really busy competition, which is always fun because it adds a ton of energy to the site for the tournament. So it's looking like we're gonna have beautiful conditions the whole weekend with about 30 degrees and a five mile an hour straight head tail. So perfect conditions for some big scores. We have Jamie Bolts setting off first in a minute so let's see how she gets ready and get an interview with her once she is done on the water what's up dog happy happy first time through 39 of the season how'd it feel good yeah it felt pretty solid um had a bit of a rocky start at 38 <laughs> um barely made it to two ball but then uh Kind of sorted things out at 39, had a good gate, had a good one, and then just kept moving through the pass. Felt really good. I mean, you're ahead by a long way, so you cannot complain. No practice, which is kind of a boss girl move. Rocked up, run 39. I mean, no complaints. Eh? Can't complain. What are your stance on rice cakes? Well, Rob, I think they're corn cakes. No, what are your stance on rice cakes? <laughs> rice cakes are terrible. You gotta put so much Nutella and like honey and peanut butter and everything on it, then it's not even worth eating anymore. Picture of health over there. <laughs> what, seriously? All right, I am on in two, I believe. Ready to go. Conditions are absolutely perfect. The scores aren't the highest, but not quite sure why. It doesn't look like it's a fault of the conditions. I've heard only good news about this place, so that's kind of exciting. We're starting to hopefully put a score down. Oh, it's got to get through that 39 first, because I've been struggling with that lately. And yeah, get through a 39. I've got to be happy. He's always on the tail, and then suddenly on the tip. Oh. Don't really have anything to say about that, other than let's go talk to someone else, because, man. This is getting annoying. All right, Will, we're out here in Italy. You've been here for the week. How's it been? It's been a beautiful week. Yeah, to be back here in Italy at San Gervasio, home of my good friend Matteo. Just excited we get to ski out there today. The conditions look perfect. There's no wind. We got to practice behind the boats. Got a good feel for the site. Um, the scores are great, so that's always a good sign. What's the thoughts after last weekend? Are you kind of feeling a little bit a little bit aggressive, ready to go for a little more? Are you oh. feeling chill, or what's the, what's, what's the deal there? Um, I feel pretty, pretty relaxed. Yeah. yeah, I mean, today's another day. Yeah, Last week's already gone, so... Well, Will, I see what you were going to get. Could have said the same as last weekend. How do you feel out there? Yeah, I ran out of town at five again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Right. I mean, you got nothing else to do but to go and run some buoys. Yeah. Um, everyone went out there and skied, skied decently well. A few people bunched up at three, some twos. And I'm just like, well, there's two rounds. If I can't do it in two rounds, then whatever. Yeah. So I, I, just, I felt good out of two. And I was already rotated at three, so I just yeah. went. All right. 
ground two. I am first off the dock, not the most ideal place to be, but this place is gonna get super glary after like 6 p.m. So probably have some of the best conditions, especially compared to the top seats. So I guess bonuses. But I'm just gonna go out there, really try to put this last round out my head and just try to go for it, really. I've got no, nothing holding me back. I've got nothing to kind of, oh, just be safe. There's no real pressure at the end. I, I do what I do or I go get some pizza. So time to go and see what we can get and yeah. Let's have some fun. That's all speculation at this point. Here we go. Romany ah, all round no. <laughs> Well, that sucked. Well, it was better. It was, was better. Managed to run my 39 just, but no, felt a little more dialed this set. Nearly died out of two at 39, and then kind of finished off from there. And now we're in the pity party together. Yes! We're getting ice cream! Got the sprinkles. The sprinkles. <laughs> so that's the glare situation right now. It's very bright. So this is where the two round format gets a little bit confusing. John went out there and got a six of 39, falling out the exit gates in the first round, and knew he needed a two to make it into the second round. However, him getting this two, if he gets it, would rely on other people who were seated above him with a better round one score, not getting the two. This is us trying to figure it out here, but here he is in round two, getting an absolutely killer one ball and getting the two that he needed, and we will find out if it's enough. Round two. Two at 41, you think that's gonna be, what you thinking? I know that was the best start I've had in a long time. I thought, I saw your one, I was like, come on, John, come on. And then I completely brain farted. But you know, from round one to round two, that's a completely different scheme yeah. for me. So I can't really complain too much. I think two is kind of on that bubble. Yeah, it so is. it's gonna yeah. be tight. Yeah, I know, but good scheme, man. Yeah, we'll see how it goes and let's help you in the final, good job. So this is Mateo here coming in at 39, unfortunately falling at two at 39, but he was the last skier who could have surpassed John. So this move here now puts John into the final for tomorrow. And welcome to day two. We are out here. It is incredibly hot. It's like 35 degrees. I'm sweating already. It's 2 p.m. Now time for the head to heads. Obviously, we've been following myself, John, Jamie, and Will this weekend again. So it is going to be Will against John in the first round so that's kind of exciting but also kind of sad because it only means that one of them will be able to pass through which is kind of one of the tough bits of a head-to-head -head. and then Jamie I believe is against Celine so that's again first versus eighth so it should be a super fun day I want to go catch a quick interview now see how they're feeling before they head-to-head -head, and let's get moving we have the two head-to-head -head competitors Will's rocking the new Will Asher Pro model the new, the new Will Asher Pro model I'd ride don't you're against each other wow. First, first time in a while, eh? What, ha what happened last time? There should be rules against this. When was the last time we actually got a chance to compete against each other without a mechanical failure? Never. Or, uh, this might be our first one where there I hasn't think, been like a failure. I think this is our first head to head, yeah. We've done some runoffs, but I don't know. Well, we're all excited to watch the shootout. It'll be fun. Yeah, it'll be and good luck to you good. both. May the best man win. This is apparently all they do in Italy. All right, Jamie Ball up first against Celine. Go out there, have some fun, and Thank smash you. it. Conditions look beautiful. We'll talk to you when we get back. Good luck. I just got like day one to So then I like got a good gate, got a good one, got a really good two, and then there was like that. I was like, before I got in, I was like, I'm gonna stand at the three. So then I got such a good two, and then I got a little happy, and I was like, maybe I want to keep going. But I'd already like committed to not turn, but then I was like, maybe I should. And then I got in this weird spot, and I was like, oh, now I'm narrow. Oh, you good job, Jamie. Through to the round of four. Who are you going to be against next, do you know? Gina or Ali. Gina or Ali next. Yeah. All right, that is Ali and Gina finished. Gina got four and Ali got five. So that means that Jamie Bull over there is against Ali Garcia to decide who will move into the final. These guys are next. <laughs> All right, Will and John are both through 38. Let's see what happens. All right, Will, 41. Slow out of one. Big two. Is he going to turn his three ball? No. All right, John. 41. Needs to get a piece of four to knock Will out. Good. Hook up out of one. He's going to need to move good out of two. Oh, don't know what happened there. Obviously, Will is now through to the semi finals. We are now watching Sasha versus Brando to see who Will will be against. All right, this decides who will be against Will. This is Brando. Sasha got two. Let's see what he can do. Gets a good one. Oh, so Will is against Sasha Deshuns to make the final. What happened? Will kick my ass. Whoa. 
<laughs> no, I felt really good actually. I, uh, I don't really know. I came out of one pretty good and then I, I didn't have the line until a little bit later than I expected. And when I got that, I just kind of got like internally crushed and I just lost all my direction in the two. And then I was just like, at that point, skiing for like fifth place, right? Because I knew I couldn't get to four. Yeah. So I was like, okay, two is better than one and a half. Do you remember, yeah. your, do you remember your 39? Does that give you a little bit of confidence? 39 was great. Know. You know, I felt really good there. Um, this whole week I've been struggling on gates, so to get comfortable at 39 with the 35 start was actually was way better. The wakes and everything felt so much better at 35 and 32, so that was kind of nice, but yeah, hard but competitor too. Yeah. yeah. And next up now, we have Jamie Bull versus Ali Garcia. Ali Garcia came off a second last weekend, so he's going to want to back that up, but he's going to have to get through Jamie. Let's see how it goes. Good luck, Ali. She's run it every round for the last, I don't know how many, and she's going to be in good shape. Out of two, a little slide, out of two, a little bit strange, but she'll probably regroup at three, and that was a very easy three. And four is good, and five will be good. And it is, and she's out the exit gate. Turn that she has, and that's a decent one. She's on the tail. She's going to need a big three and a big four. And she's going to struggle, but she's pulling long, and she's yeah, she's gone three and a half. All right, welcome back here, Dark Side. We're with Jamie. You just advanced to the final. How was your eleven to the, this second round? It was all right. Um, good start. Two, I fell back a little bit, and then kind of cruised through the rest. So hopefully, I can keep that moving into finals. All right, so here is Ali Nicholson. Bea has just gone and got four, so she's going to need a piece of five to make that final with Jamie. Good hook up out of one. Beautiful two, come on. Nice three, she's going to need a nice safe four. Pull, pull. Looks, there you go, she got around that five. So that means that the final will be Jamie Ball versus Ali Nicholson, two HOs in the final. Always a good day. All right, Will, you beat John in that first head-to-head. -head. How did it feel out there? Oh, good. Yeah, like, I kind of, you know, going first, I had a plan in my mind. I wanted to scrout, and if I was in good shape, I was just going to turn three. If I wasn't, I was just going to get a solid score. Yeah. And, um, this gives something for John to chase. Any insights into the second round, whether you're picking the boat or the, the driver, or what's the plan? I get to choose. I'm, I'm just going to choose to go first again. Yeah. And then get I'm going to stick with that plan. And, you know, maybe it changes if we can get past this round, which yeah. is no guarantee because I have Sasha. So he's a very strong, he's a bit French, but he's yeah. very strong. <laughs> yeah, you never quite know what you're going to get with Sasha, but yeah. that's kind of the plan. you got to go out there and have some fun, I guess. Yeah. All right, so we have Will Asher, they're both into, th into 41. Let's see what he can get. He's out first. Slow one, but good to two. Here you go, come on, turn this three ball. Yes, go, go, go. Don't if you've got outside that four. So that is a big score there from Will. That is a three and a half confirmed at 41. Sasha is coming in next. Let's see if he can get the full four. Because obviously he's coming out second, so they cannot tie. He has to get the full four to move on to the final. Let's see what he can do. Strong hook about a two. He's on it. Oh, narrow at three. Is he going to make it? Oh, he's made it. But that means that Will is out, unfortunately, in third place, and it is Sasha and Nate moving on to the final. Ooh, so we've just had some big news. The boat has broken, so the finals will not be a head-to-head, -head, even though we've done head-to-head -head this whole time. It will be just a normal standard first versus second, but they will be still picking the driver. Yeah, an interesting finish. Obviously, they can't control the boat breaking, but Jamie will be going first, and then... Ali will be going second, so we will see how we do. All right, Jamie, coming in 39. Let's see what score she can put down. She has no idea what Ali's going to do. Good one. A little slow out of two. She goes for it out of three. So obviously now the boat has broken. It is Ali Nicholson coming out. Afterwards, she'll do a whole set, and she is going to need to get a piece of three for a runoff because now we're in the final. You can run off, or she's going to need to get a piece of four, so for three and a quarter at minimum to beat Jamie. Come on. Gonna need a big four. Does not get it. What the hell? Oh, oh no. That means Jamie Bull is the women's champion right now. Oh, what a day. But that's a HO first and second with Jamie Bull in first, Ali Nicholson in second, and Beatrice Aini in third. And then the men will be going now. Obviously, Will is sat in third right now. We will see who wins out of Sasha and Nate. All right, here comes Nate. Final round, but had a big score for Sasha to follow. Good one, finally got the one he wanted this round. Big hook up out of two. He's on for this one, beautiful spot. 
Oh, it's my side. That was a beautiful pen too. Five yet, so I didn't know there would be splash on the way. <laughs> uh, beautiful 41 there from Nate. Ooh, Sasha's got some pressure. 41, he's going to need to ruin it to get a chance at first place. Big one, good start. Good two. He's going to need to keep it intense. Oh, good effort, but just not quite enough for today. Nate Smith is the champion. All right, well, you can't say too often that getting a piece of 41 doesn't put you in the final. How does it feel? Yeah. yeah I've... I feel like that puts it into words. It's like... <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you nailed it. Yeah. I, I thought four would have been, it was an aggressive score. So yeah. I knew he had to go for it. Yeah. Psychologically, it might have been better getting three. And it, it's kind of a weird thing. Like sometimes more buoys isn't always more. Like yeah. if I got three, then he maybe would have hesitated more at three and not got to four. But... He had no choice but to turn three and go for it. And he said it was the first time he's turned three all year. Didn't have a choice but to turn it. And he turned it. So, yeah. you know, hats off to the guy. Yeah, um, he, he, he skied he, strong and he backed it up in the final with Nate. Yeah, so, he skied his heart out. Um, he did. You looked amazing. Kind of, it's got to be nice to, to move on to Greece next week. And um, how are you feeling about that? Yeah, move, moving on to Greece next week. So I have a few days there. Um, you know, we've been working on a ski all winter and all spring. And I, I would say the ski is competing really well traveling around the world and going to different sites and different places and I'm, I'm excited for the future of the program and just how we can keep improving the stuff we have. Yeah, oh me too, me too. A well-deserved feed for the champion. So you won, but you may have heat stroke. <laughs> I might have heat stroke. How do you oh feel like that? Hot, really hot. Yeah, that seemed like the challenge. Uh, something that a lot of people were talking about was the hands. A lot of people don't realize how tough it is. Yeah, they're a bit sore. It's warm. Yeah. Uh, really hot. I think that's the biggest thing is hands definitely get a little tender. Um, body gets pretty hot too. I can imagine. Um, second weekend in a row, second win. You're getting used to that top step all over again. How does it feel? Feels great. Yeah, so far so good in Europe. Can't <laughs> complain. There you go. You've got Greece next weekend. You're traveling out there with Will. We we'll look forward to seeing how you get on. And yeah, great skiing. Good job. Thank you. All right, so that is the event done a long weekend obviously I'm really annoyed with my own personal skiing missing that 38 isn't ideal it's not something that, that a pro should be doing but we live and learn we'll bounce back next weekend obviously some adjustments need to be made but yeah a great weekend from the team first and a second in the women's also with Gina Kruger I believe finishing in seventh maybe I'm not too sure on a placement um, but that's a lot of HOs in the final for both the women and the men so we move on to next weekend I will be in Lacano next weekend so I won't be with Jamie or Will but me and John will be there so we will keep you up to date with this vlog thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one